Well, we're taking a break from the bullwhip today, and uh, we're going to refurbish Lonnie's hood after the incident. <laughs> after the incident, yeah. <laughs> All right, we all got our vintage Polaris Brap shirts on today. Bunch of dorks dressed alike. <laughs> <laughs> that never happens. That never yeah, happens. Never happens. <laughs> so uh, Lonnie's hood got a couple cracks in it last weekend, uh, eight days ago. Yeah, yep, exactly, yeah. eight days ago. And yeah. uh, we got a nice warm day here in Minnesota. That's a good day to do some fiberglass work outside. So uh, we're going to peel the hood off it and uh, fix the worst of it. Here we are under the hood of Lonnie's TX, and you can see this nose has been put back on, and it's breaking apart again, and it ain't great. So uh, we're going to peel this apart. We'll get the crack opened up down here, too. Oh, so we're going to get this out the sled, get the hinge off, and fix her up. Yep, let's get her done. We're going to fix this thing up. So... Um, you can see the crack it's not great we got some options here and we'll show you as we go exactly what we're gonna do but mostly we're gonna fix that from the inside you know this one's been fixed from the inside already I don't think we're even gonna touch these today um, maybe we'll brush a little just a little bit of resin up there at the end of the day if we have some mm. left over maybe a little bit with that but mostly we're worried about this yeah, because that's right on the end, this side yeah, too. Yeah, that side, side too. too. Yeah, she came loose right there. So yeah, that's just gonna keep going if we just if we don't do something with it, it's gonna keep going. Right. So as you know, we're just a bunch of, of uh, ditch bangers. So uh, <laughs> we're just gonna make this thing. You know, we're gonna make this thing good and solid, so that the next time we uh, have an incident in the ditch, we can break it again. <laughs> exactly. All right. So we got the hinge off. Um, now what we're taking a look at is like just where we're at with all of this. We're uh, yeah. we can go in we can go in a, a little ways with this one. We're gonna grind this down. Oh, about we're gonna half the thickness. Half the thickness, but we're gonna go way up, way up here. We're gonna go huge on this thing. Yeah. Um, we don't skimp on it. We're not gonna try to contain the fiberglass. We're gonna make it a big patch. Yeah. Same over here. Same over here. And no, it's, there's you like can this. See where it's moving there. Yeah. There's this bridge from this previous repair. We'll grind that out. We'll grind this whole area half the thickness back. But uh, before we do that. Uh, we're going to flip it over and we're going to find some old beer cans. Where would we get those? I have no idea. Maybe some roof <laughs> flashing. Beer cans are a little light. Oh, wait and, a minute. Uh, Let me finish mine. Yeah. Then we'll have one. We're going to do a little We're going to do a little pop rivet job and make a, a little structure to the other side so that when we're grinding, it kind of holds things together. So we'll show you that when we get there. All right. We got a really common problem. We try to drill this rivet out. It just spins and spins and spins. So we got our normal average vice grip out. Oh, Farley. And uh, we're just gonna drill it now. Hopefully it won't spin with oh, the vice grip. Good. Oh, maybe if I tighten the drill chuck. That sounded great. I was drill straight. Whoa! Just like yeah. that. Like taking out a tooth. Just gotta have the right tools for the job. <laughs> Bigger drill. <laughs> like a shitty drill <laughs> and an absurd vice grip. <laughs> if you own a decent pair of scissors, you don't really need tin snips. Keyword decent. Now, uh, we're using roof flashing. I suppose if we drank that heavy Canadian beer, maybe the heavy cans would be heavy enough. <laughs> but, uh, you know, our light American beer, we got to go up to the steel rough flashing for this. <laughs> All right, we got our first rivet in, and we're just riveting. And uh, you can see our rivets are way too long, so that's perfect because these are the rivets we have today. So, uh, we're just riveting this down and then we'll wrap it around the corner as we get there. The only purpose is to hold the hood together. And no, we didn't drill through the Nutter Speed Shop sticker. All right, here we go. 
all right hard to see because of the shadows but here's what the tin looks like and uh don't panic about the tin that's not permanent that's just to hold it while we do some fiberglass yeah, a little backing structure there yeah you might be able to see the rivets when we're done but brap. uh brap but uh you know we're ditch bangers all right, so Lonnie's all set to grind. He's just going to grind these rivets right away. He's going to grind half the thickness back of the original hood, and he's going to cut this disaster here out where you can see it's delaminated. Yep. Have at her, Lon. All right, so we've been, uh, been doing a little grinding. I think we're in pretty good shape here. Give you a little look, see what we got going on down in here. Get all those, all those rivets are gone. Uh, make that, make that a nice wide pattern around there. Well, they're not gone. They're still in the fiberglass. They're, yeah, they're still there, but the, they're still home. Yeah, we just grown so, off the free end. Yeah. So now we just got a little bit of cleanup to do, Mister Nutter. You know, when you don't like breathing fiberglass dust, they sell this at the Princeton Swap Meet, by the way, every year. I highly recommend this particular blowgun. <laughs> Oh, sorry, Dennis. Hey, Dennis. Sorry, Look Dennis. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> All right. We're going to do fiberglass class now. So uh, you saw us prep the area. Lonnie did all that. That was the hands-on portion. Now, the next portion is an advanced level, so I'm going to give a demonstration of how to do this. And uh, I just want to give a big shout-out to my buddy, Tommy Speed Racer Zeller, the man who set the most speed run records of anybody in the world, because he taught me how to do this back when we were building race sleds and shit. So acetone and a little rag, and we're just cleaning the area. We're just prepping it before we lay down the glass. So uh, don't be shy with the acetone, but this gets all the rest of the dust off and uh, It'll help, it'll help the, the fiberglass and the resin stick better. So, uh, you can see, I mean, even though Lonnie just ground on it, we got some shit off of there. All right. So, while that's drying, back over here to fiberglass. That's your basic fiberglass resin from any auto parts store or Fleet Farm. I imagine if you're Canadian, it's Princess something probably has it. I don't know what Canadians do. But uh, we got some tubes of hardener here. Oh, that one's just plumb full. That's why it ain't shaking. And uh, we got my old cup, my special measuring cup. So one thing Tommy told me when you're doing this is don't use a plastic cup and don't use a styrofoam cup. So this is like an old paper coffee cup. It's probably still got coffee in the bottom of it. And then it's just a random chunk of metal. I, I recommend a piece of old wear bar. But I don't have any old wear bar on hand. But uh, we're going to start in on this. You can see we're going to measure super carefully the exact amount. Oh boy, that's some shitty looking resin. Look at how purple that is. I think it was clear when it was new. But we're going to go, well, yay much. And that's more than we need. That's way more than we need. But we're mixing up the resin in the old cup there. And then we're going to give it most of this. Because we don't want it to take four hours to go off. And it does look like crap. Oh, that's excessive. We like excessive. All right, my finger's already sticky, so I'm going to get my gloves on. Yeah, I'm not a mamby-pamby about most things. But excuse my French, I'll bleep that out. I don't want to wear the fiberglass uh, resin for the next three days. So uh, we're going to put some gloves on so that later on when I eat a cheeseburger, it doesn't taste like fiberglass resin. The great thing is, the more you use these cups, the sturdier they get. You know, this one's almost like iron at this point. Oh, where's my old resin board? I forgot one thing. I'll be right back. 
You know what? I'm going to give it a little more resin. Or a little more hardener. There, that's most of that. If that doesn't light it off, we're in trouble. Just mix it up. We don't even care if we're getting air bubbles in it. It's not like we're doing Bondo on a Ferrari or something. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over and work a layer of resin into the cracks. And we're just trying to jam it in there as good as we can with the brush. And we're coating everything kind of like primer. So uh, get some good resin into everything in there as much as we can work it in. Now I had a piece of oh, here's a piece of white gel coat that came off when we were grinding. We'll just put that right back. That's a happy little piece of gel coat. Is that what that painter guy says? Everything's happy? Mm-hmm. Alright, over here to the over here to the fiberglass board. So I got a bunch of fiberglass that's pre-cut. We're going to lay down a nice layer of resin on there and put down a piece of fiberglass and resin it and get it impregnated. <laughs> That's what she said. That's what she said. <laughs> and this is where the gloves come in. So now we're going to start laying it in. We don't care that it goes over that edge. In fact, that's, that's actually great that it goes over that edge. Lather, rinse, repeat. Just keep going, building up your fiberglass. So that's that. We do have some air bubbles in there to work out. That'll happen. So it's going off, but it's still pretty fluid right now, so we can we can get the worst of the air bubbles and such out right now. Really not bad on this side. All right, we're going to show you how to trim this up. It's been, what, three, four beers? Three. Three beers, Lonnie thinks. And uh, so the fiberglass is no longer sticky, but it's still kind of soft. So, uh, yeah, right there, just like that. Probably go. That's a great thing. Hmm. If we wait until tomorrow morning, here, trim that, that yep. crap up. That's just some fibers. The sticky is just, just went away on this stuff. Yeah, it's just perfect for this. Right? Then we're going to flip her over and peel off the, the foil. That's what the she said. Flip her over. Smack it, flip it, rub it. All right, let's, are you going to trim the front there? We are, but we're going to flip the hood over. we got right. some rivets to drill now. Yep. Here, we'll put it this way for drilling rivets. Good enough. Look at, see how the fiberglass came right through that rivet, the yeah. resin did? Yeah, yep, so. that's what we wanted. All right. Now we should there we go. Well, she's not super pretty, but Lonnie's got the right idea. Razor blade works good at this stage too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but, but yeah, we're just peeling. We didn't prep this side on purpose. That's why the resin isn't sticking. Nope. I don't have my knife on me. It's in the shop. Good enough. You can just leave that. Right. But now Put let's let's flip over. it yeah. over and trim up the yep. bottom. Yep. For the windshield. No, yeah. windshield's still coming. <laughs> This is why we stop before it's fully hard. It's just not sticky. It doesn't stick to your fingers anymore, but it's bendable. And then we can cut it. Even through that thick stuff. Don't prove me wrong, Lonnie. He's just dead. Uh, <coughs> there we go. 
hot angle. I just gotta get it. There we go. Now the rest well, of that we can we can grind that down, right? Yeah, we're yeah. gonna grind that down tomorrow. Um, we're not gonna finish it, put the hinge back on tonight. We're gonna let this fully cure. Yeah. We well. just stopped there because it was a good place to do this trimming. But yeah, this trimming where it's really thick here, that's where we'll need the grinder. All right, cut out the old pocket knife and picked away at that excess resin a little bit. Yes, we still need a grind right here. Like I said, we'll do that tomorrow. But, uh, you know, that'll work for a ditch banger. Yep. The next night, final trim. We're just drilling out the old holes. All right, we're just going to attach her. Yep. Down, might as well do that. All right, well, we showed you today how ditch bangers restore structural integrity to a hood. <laughs> it's not a showpiece. We do want to mention if you got a plastic hood, there's this guy, Stefan Nyberg, that just did a hood repair video on that using hot staples. It's a pretty good video. It's a great idea. So uh, I'll put a link to, to Stefan Nyberg's video down in the description of this in case you want to check it out. And, and it is a shout out too for uh, for the fall off video. That was awesome. Yeah, a little tribute. <laughs> Apparently he did a tribute to Lonnie falling off the sled. I don't know. <laughs> I think we all should. We've yeah. all been. <laughs> Lonnie can't, or another can't join in on that I toast. I can't join in on not that yet. toast yet. At least not on video. I've fallen off a few times not <laughs> yes, on you, video. He also edits the videos. So yeah, scary. well, oh, if I fell off, it Wait, would be on the video. I got a shirt. It would uh, definitely be on the video. Look at how dorky we are. We're all wearing our same matching vintage Flara shirts. <laughs> right. So, uh, anyways, we're going to say thanks to the patrons. All right, I'm back with the patron list. We want to say thanks to the patrons, Aaron Shriver, Michael Johnson, Matt DeFossi, Charles Myers, Alex Sherell, Brandon Pariso, Dan Hasnut, Mike Jarish, Lewis Brady, Jeff Eiser, Brian Peters, Mitch Klebel, Philip Herbert, Brian Gillingham, and Spencer Roser. And uh, I do want to note that Spencer also has a sled channel if you want to take a look at that. Oh yeah, right on. He does some sled stuff with triples and XCRs and stuff. Do you know the name of his channel? Spencer Roser. Oh. You can like get it right off uh, up here or wherever it is. Yeah, wherever that is. All right. So thanks, guys. Thanks for following along. And uh, we'll be back at the bullwhip real quick. If you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, hit the subscribe button. Yeah, we want to we wanna know how many people are out there watching this fun stuff. Awesome. Thanks, thanks for guys. the comments. Sure and like.